Hey everybody, it's your boy Big Dre and welcome. Um, I'm on my latest cruise and I wanted to show y'all a quick cruise hack for those of y'all that want to save some money. These internet package prices are extremely high. I think for the premium package, uh, for the most part, they average like $24 a day across cruise lines. So this particular cruise only paid for one package. And off that one package, I have all my devices connected to the internet. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. This device right here is what you would call a travel router. Um, it's actually called the GLINET uh g l s f t 1200 i'll put the link to it in the description and this little thing right here is called a travel router and what this does is is allows you to connect to the cruise line hotel internet and be able to use that one internet uh, connection to tether or repeat that connection to all your devices and i'm gonna show you how to do it okay so this de this device i got off amazon i think i paid all the 33 34 bucks for it and it was totally worth it so um on on this particular cruise i think uh the total price for internet was like a hundred and uh, I want to say 130 some dollars. Don't quote me, but that's close to what it was. So, and it's three of us. So, just imagine if I would have if I paid for an internet, an uh, internet package for three individuals. Do the math. So, I'm gonna use this device to power internet to all devices. I'm gonna show you how. Here we go. So, first of all, this plugs in in the back through USB-C. So I got it plugged in and plugged into the uh, electrical outlet. Back here you have a USB, just in case if you want to um, put some movies or pictures or anything on a flash drive, you'll be able to do that. And it has a WAN port and two LAN ports, okay? And there's the power button on the side. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all how to do this real quick. So right now I'm not connected to any internet at the moment. So let's connect. So using a laptop, the first thing you're going to do is you want to connect to the, the wire, the router. So you're gonna choose one of these um, connections. There's a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz connection. Um, uh, I'm already connected, but I'm gonna connect back to it. And there is a password, a default password, under the bottom of the, the router that you can connect to by default. So um, connecting to it, so of course it says there's no internet, all right? The second thing you wanna do is, is open a browser. So I'm just open up the, a Chrome browser and, and you're gonna type in the uh, web address 192.168 dot eight dot one and this website is the website for your router to log into your router it's going to ask you your language hit next then it's going to ask you to set up a new admin password um it can be anything y'all so just remember you remember what you put in so i'm gonna uh, put in the password uh, all right, and confirm. All right, and press apply. Okay, now I'm totally logged in to the router. All right, so now we need to connect 
to the cruise lines internet so let's do that so you want to scroll down on this particular uh, model scroll down to where it says repeater you want to hit connect and what this is going to do is going to show you all the internet connections in the area and it should show the carnival um, internet so let's it's searching let's see what it finds all right so there you see carnival Wi-Fi horizon all right so you want to connect to that and you want to apply all right y'all so it's connected to the carnival wi-fi um and but there's still no internet left but i want to also show you um even though these are showing um the gl the 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 wi-fi ssid is showing gl sft 1200 the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz you can rename the ssid and i'm gonna show you how to do that real quick so you're going to go to wireless and this is showing the five gigahertz connection so i'm going to click modify and just say i want to change this to uh let me see uh Big Dre, Big Dre 5G, and I want to hit apply, and it's going to change the name to the SSID, and it's going to show as Big Dre 5G. It's processing, and then the Wi-Fi, I should see, uh, there it is, Big Dre 5G. All right, so uh, let's actually connect to that connection. Big Dre 5G, put the, it, the password in. Next. All right, and we are connected. Now, y'all see this? This is what you want to get to. So this is the Carnival Log uh, Wi-Fi Internet uh, website. It's on. For the most part, it's going to automatically pop up. Um, if it don't, just open up another a new web uh, page window, and it should pop up. So now I'm going to put in my folio, your folio number that's on your um, sign and sell card, and you're going to put in your date of birth and you're going to hit connect to my plan now the, remind y'all i'm still connected to the the router y'all i'm still connected to the router but it's connecting the carnival connection to the router all right so let's hit uh connect to my plans and it's saying, uh-oh, already in use, because I already have just a plain internet connected to one of my phones. We're going to switch devices, and it's going to switch from my phone to the router. And it's connected, y'all. And it says, let's go. And as you can see, we have the repeater on, and it's repeating the connection to everything. Now, I'm gonna show y'all, it's repeating on my phone. So, show y'all my phone. And right now it's connected to the Carnival Horizon, but let's change that to, let me see if the Big Dre 5G, there goes the Big Dre 5G. Let me put in the password. Hit join. Connect it and let's go to some YouTube. All right, 
It's fine. So make sure y'all, show y'all, I ain't lying. This actually works. Uh, so I'm scrolling YouTube right now. I'm gonna play a video. I'm just trying to find something that ain't gonna give me copywritten. Uh, let me see. But as y'all see, everything is opening up. Um, uh, let me try that. I'm just show play a little clip of it. So y'all see that play. Now that's my phone. Now I'm gonna show y'all on the laptop. Go to YouTube. Now the connection is is decent, y'all. It's decent. Uh let me find something real quick. Uh Play this little reel. See, that's working. Uh, and then, uh, let me show y'all. I even got it hooked up to the Roku. Let me show y'all that. All right, y'all. I got the Roku on connected, and let's get it connected to the internet or the network. Set up a connection, uh, wireless. It's doing a wireless scan. And it does see, I did change the 2.4 gigahertz connection. It's that GLSF 1200. Um, so we're gonna connect to that. That's still the router. And put the password in, hit connect. Wireless connection, internet connection. And we are connected, y'all. And let's hit home. And let's see something play. Let's see. Go back to YouTube. And YouTube is loaded. And let me see. Play something real quick. Um, play my, my, my friend, Miss Louisiana Housewife. See what she talking about. So that's it's this is YouTube, y'all. YouTube is playing. Yes, y'all. So So I just showed y'all what to do if you want to save a little money on your internet packages. And of course, I mean this can be powered by a power bank if you want to carry it around the the cruise um, with you in a bag or something but we just pretty much used it uh here in the cabin um as a home network so to speak so when we came to the cabin everybody had internet on their phones our laptop uh our, both of our ipads um smart watches you name it everything was connected get you one of these y'all now, just trying to help y'all save some money. Just a little cruise hack. Don't at me. Y'all have a great day. I also want to reiterate, if you don't have a laptop handy with you, you can also do those connections with your uh, phone or iPad. All you have to do is just open up a browser, Chrome browser, Safari, um, whatever uh, internet browser that's on your, your tablet. And, or your phone and do the same thing. You know, could 192.168.8.1. Um, you may not even buy this particular brand, but I'm I swear by it. I, I've used it for the past seven days and it works great. So if you want it, instructions doing that, let me know in the comments and um I'll do another video showing you how to connect to that, connect using those um those devices as well. All right, I'm going for real. Bye.